Fashion brand Balenciaga facing backlash after advertising these images here. Children were holding teddy bears dressed in bondage. The company accused of sexualizing and exploiting children with these high fashion ads. Balenciaga has since deleted the photos, taken them down off their social media feed, and issued an apology. In part, it says here, we sincerely apologize for any offense our holiday campaign may have caused. Our plush bear bag should not have been featured with children in this campaign. We have immediately removed the campaign from all platforms. But then Balenciaga issued a secondary apology because of this picture here. It's of a purse and underneath appears to show a Supreme Court decision from 2008 which criminalized the pandering of child pornography. Was it subliminal? Hmm. The apology reads, we apologize for displaying unsettling documents in our campaign, saying we take this matter very seriously and are taking legal action against the parties responsible for creating the set and including unapproved items for our spring 23 campaign photo shoot. Let's talk a little bit more about this. Joining us now to discuss Stacey Washington, host of Stacey on the Right, where you can listen on Sirius XM Radio. Stacey, great to have you in. Thank you for having me. This is such an important story, I think, um, because I wonder if there wasn't backlash if these images would have stayed up. Uh, just put them up again. It's so um, creepy. These are teddy bears. These are children. And what they're wearing is clearly adult, you know, bondage. Uh, what do you think was behind Balenciaga's move to do this? And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, I don't know. I mean, it seems like they should have known better. Yeah, so, you know, often with fashion, especially high fashion, you'll see these uh, designers, they'll get together with the shoot and the artists, and they'll actually make something that's provocative because they need to get eyeballs on it. And in a digital age where we're constantly bombarded by images, we tend to ignore things unless they are provocative, unless they are somehow, there's something quite like a little bit wrong about it. And so I feel like this is what they're attempting to do is to grab our attention in ways that possibly could be edgy, but this isn't edgy. This is the promotion of child pornography. It's the using of children um, to sell a product, but you're mixing in the bondage aspect, which is sexual. And it's a continuation of what we've seen in schools with the pornographic books. And it's the thing that parents are protesting. It's the thing that we are culturally raging against. And they used it to try to sell clothes and shoes. Yeah, for and sure. So disgusting. And then the Supreme Court uh, case, it was sort of slid under there, and they're saying well, we might take legal action. These, you know, kind of alluding to the fact these were unapproved items, so that maybe that gives them sort of, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of distance. We haven't heard a boycott of Balenciaga, but clearly, if you're a parent out there, and these are luxury items, so even if you can afford them, you know, it uh, might be a small amount of people that could do it. But you know, Nicole Kidman's one of their faces of their new campaigns. These are definitely this is a, you know, a Hollywood, you know, stamp approved brand here. Uh, clearly. Uh, which some people say this is this is what's wrong in our society, Stacey. Okay, so listen, where is Nicole Kidman to make a statement how she'll never wear Balenciaga again? Where are all of these stars who normally promote this? Why aren't they stepping out? Now, we know Kanye West wouldn't allow his children to be in Balenciaga ads. His ex-wife was and still is one of their chief spokespersons. So we've already seen someone who's culturally provocative himself distancing himself from Balenciaga. So is there more here? I think we should watch carefully. We're not high fashion consumers, the majority of Americans, but what they do with their ads actually impacts our culture. And it's important that we push back. Someone should be fired. It's not enough for them to make a statement. And it's also very important that we keep watching what they're doing to ensure that they don't try to slip this in again. Yeah, and we did blur those children's faces because we wanted to protect the innocent and, and the innocent ch children there that were in those ads. Um, another story that caught our eye, I want to get your reaction to, uh, was uh, on Twitter. Elon Musk uh, tweeted this out. I guess there's a, a closet. Can you imagine him running around in, in finding all these things? Hashtag stay woke is in a closet at Twitter headquarters, and he's like, I'm exposing this because maybe this is part of the culture here. Um, obviously, Musk is a new sheriff in town, Stacy. So can I just say that my my favorite potential <laughs> reality show would be like me with my cell phone or some kind of a professional camera on a little selfie stick running around behind Elon Musk for like five hours a day. Right. Just watching 
He investigates, opens closet doors, you know, looks into emails, files, just discovering what he bought. Um, it would be so great. This is just one taste of what it's like for him discovering more things about this company that he really didn't get due diligence on before he decided to pull the trigger and drop $44 billion. So uh, more of this, please, Elon. We want to know what you find. Yeah, we want to know what's in all the, the little nooks and crannies there. Uh